My name is Ray Harchin. I'd like to welcome you to the Sony booth at CE Week in New York City. Uh, what I'm standing in front of is our latest uh, 4K television. It's the XBR 65 X900A, which is the first of our smaller size, smaller screen size 4K television offerings for the home. Last November, we introduced the 84-inch uh, 4K television at $25,000. 65-inch television starts at $7,000. It's 55-inch younger brother. Uh, the, the X900 series is at uh, $5,000. For those consumers and viewers who are uh, unaware of 4K, uh, get used to it because I think you're going to hear about it uh, a lot more in the future. Also known as ultra high definition, 4K offers 8.3 million pixels. It's four times the resolution of a full HD picture, which gives you four times more clarity. Uh, in addition, uh, the Sonys have uh, quantum dot technology built in, uh, which allows a broader um, color spectrum, a wider color palette, particularly for reds, greens, and blues. Uh, the TV has a built-in upscaler, which upscales all of your video inputs to near 4K quality, because I know one of the concerns many folks have is 4K televisions, what about the 4K content? So keep in mind, built-in upscalers upscale your, your cable, your satellite, your DVD collection, and even your Blu-ray collection upscales it to near 4K. Right. But in addition to that, I'd also like to show you and introduce to you our media server. It's the FMP X1 4K media player. This media player this will be great. available in July. Uh, it will become preloaded with 10 full-length Hollywood feature films. In addition to that, there'll be 4K native 4K TV episodes, as well as a collection of 4K shorts from media partners like Red Bull Media House. Uh, maybe more, most exciting about the uh, media player is that it's going to serve as the hub for Video Unlimited 4K, part of the Sony Entertainment Network, to allow viewers to rent or to purchase to own 4K movies uh, and television shows uh, from Sony. All coming this summer, summer 2013. So, you can store video on this media server? Yeah, this media server has uh, two terabyte hard drive in it. Uh, again, as I said, it comes preloaded with 10 movies. It certainly has a lot of storage capacity for 4K films. 4K films are pulled about 40 gigabytes a piece. 30 gigabytes? 40. Oh, 40 gigabytes 40 uncompressed. Gigabytes. Uh, compressed, compressed in a... It, oh, so... Uh, they are compressed files. Oh, so uncompressed would run you, what, 100? Or... Do not know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, because... Every, everything's compressed, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And, so, and then uh, related to, uh, to 4K content, uh, it seems that uh, not a day goes by that uh, people don't ask about network. And broadcast 4K. Right. Uh, all signs indicate that the World Cup next year looks like it's going to be a 4K event. Uh, oh. How that's going to happen, I'm not certain. Uh, but we see 4K tests. So one Sony 4K week. cameras. I uh, have 4K cameras, including 4K cameras for the home use, right. uh, coming later in 2013. So here's the 84-inch that we debuted last year. Oh, at CES, right? Uh, no, we debuted last year at uh, IFA in the fall of 2012. Really? Uh, we started selling these in the United States in November 2012. And of course, at CES in January, uh, introduced the new 55 and 65, but certainly a big part of the show was uh, was 4K. So why would someone buy this for their home? Because right. it would fill up the whole wall. <laughs> it, will fill up the, it fills up more than my whole wall. Yeah. I, I can't, even, uh, I, I can't uh, think about getting one for my house. I don't have a wall big enough. Right. Uh, those who are looking for an immersive yeah, cinematic type of experience. So, 4K is designed to get you up close, and personal, right. immersed in the content that you're watching, um, both the visually and with the sound, using that cinematic experience for the right. home. Okay. Is, is there anything you want to add to? Uh, I don't. I, I, I think those are the, the, the main uh, main things that uh, I would want you to know about 4K. Certainly, uh, 4K is a technology platform that's here to sit, stay. It's not a feature set like 3D might be or what have you. Uh, but uh, you know, the best part about a TV has always been its resolution, mm -hmm. its picture, and uh, 4K uh, is, a, is a great picture. So just for the viewers here, what do you think about the PS4? <laughs> I, I, I love PS3, so <laughs> PS4 is going to be super exciting. And you're not just movie, saying that because I'm you're working. I'm not just saying it's a different division of Sony. Right. One great thing about 4K uh, in video games is what we call simulview. In some games, like Gran Turismo, I'll wear 3D glasses, but instead of having an a, a and a B lens, right. I'll have two A lenses, you'll have two B lenses. My lens, my lens will block out your pixels. Right. With 4K, there's resolution to spare, right? right. Uh, it allows for a full screen, two player game, where I can't cheat off of your screen right. and so forth. Oh, and yes. Not split. I've so actually seen this technology, yes. Yeah, so it's a wonderful it's great. application of 3D technology kind of tilt on its ear 
gaming on a 4K television set because you can split those pixels take half of them away. It's, it's truly something special. So they, use when Sony comes. So there you have it guys. Sony killing Samsung one television set at a time. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.